Has Been Hotel is a show overflowing with two things, awesome lore and interesting characters. For the most part, this channel talks about the lore of the show, but recently I was asked by fellow YouTuber Video Reacts if I thought that the character of Valentino was actually in love with Angel. An interesting question considering just how toxic and abusive their relationship is, but I thought it might be an interesting departure from our usual conversations about the internal logic of the show. My name is Deep Cut, welcome to Cartoon Universe, and today I will be talking about Valentino and Angel, how they ended up in their particular relationship, and talk about whether or not they love each other. If you like this content, subscribe to the channel. Only a small number of our viewers are subscribed, but you guys keep coming back, so you might as well give in and do it. Early versions of Angel differed greatly from what we see in the show today. Not only was Val not involved, but he was something of a pansexual Bugs Bunny who was somehow in a relationship with Vaggy, and was also the father of Cherry Bomb, who was actually an angel instead of a demon in early iterations. But one thing that hasn't changed too much is Angel's basic origin story. What little we know about Angel's human life is that he was born into an Italian mob, whose dirty dealings apparently continued in hell, where his brother and father both reside as well. For whatever reason, Angel decided to leave his father and his brother's web of crime while in hell, and at some point got involved in the adult film business, as well as getting himself addicted to PCP. It is in this business, of course, that he meets Valentino, or perhaps it was through meeting Valentino that Angel got into any of this. Valentino's actual age is unknown, but he died sometime in the 70s, presumably in the late 70s, which was the decade in which adult film really started taking off. We don't know if Valentino produced adult films while on Earth, but he was likely one of the first people to die with the knowledge of adult films and how to start selling them. Despite being relatively new to hell, his business dealings have made him an overlord, one of the three Vs. Despite Valentino's fixation with Angel, he is also in an on-again, off-again relationship with fellow overlord Vox, to which the third member of the three Vs, Velvet, acts as a sort of surrogate daughter. Valentino's relationship with Angel is one that is a bit complex, not just because of its abusive and toxic elements, but because of its overlap with other aspects of their lives. Valentino runs the most popular adult film studio in Hell, and Angel is the most famous adult film star in Hell. Part of what draws Valentino to Angel is likely the fact that he had this potential to begin with, something that Valentino didn't just want to exploit, but to make his own. From Angel's perspective, Valentino may have been an endearing figure from the start. We can't say how they met, but at the time, working for Valentino would have seemed like an amazing opportunity if Angel was already on the path to becoming an adult film star or an escort. Once Valentino had made Angel a success, Angel would likely have started to see what kind of person he really is, and now that he has his fame, he wouldn't need to worry about his relationship deteriorating. And that is where the Angel Dust comes in. It is uncertain when precisely Angel started doing Angel Dust, but as his name suggests, it has to at least be early on in his life in hell, as demons choose their own nicknames when they get there. Regardless of if Valentino got Angel hooked on Angel Dust, or Angel was already hooked on it himself, it is a simple way to stop Angel from leaving. We have seen that despite his supposed fame, Angel had a pretty humble home before moving into the Hasbin Hotel, so it didn't seem to be making much money. Between his addiction and Valentino's likely large cut of all of Angel's profits, Angel never seemed to find the success he needed to break out of Valentino's relationship, and instead tried to focus on changing it at first. In the prequel comic, we can see that Angel tried helping Valentino with his mob dealings without his permission. This ended in a massacre, and an interesting look into the dynamic with Val. Valentino isn't just upset about the potential failures, he is upset about Angel trying to change his role, and simply reinforces it and adds more work for Angel instead. Regardless of what Angel may have ever felt for Valentino before, it is clear that he wants to get away from him. While Angel continues to work for Valentino when staying at the Happy Hotel, it's been indicated through prequel comics and other sources that this is simply a means to an end, a way to save money by not having to pay rent so that Angel can eventually get away from Valentino. The problem being that none of this actually fixes the real issue, which is that Angel is blowing all of his money on drugs and gets encouragement in the form of more drugs from Valentino. 
Angel is not oblivious to this issue either, and we have seen that it does come out in the form of him trying to physically reject Valentino, which seems to have resulted multiple times in Valentino forcing himself on Angel. This resulted in Angel getting a sort of personal revenge by teaming up with Cherry to blow up one of Valentino's nightclubs, something we see play out in the Attic music video, which, based on an Instagram post, seems to take place after Angel already started staying at the Happy Hotel, showing him continuing his journey to distance himself from Val. The most important facet of which is dealing with his drug abuse, which is another moment we saw a glimpse of in the post credit sequence, where Angel puts down his vice and sings about trying to be better. It isn't an indication that he has quit yet, but that he knows it's time to get better, not for a chance to actually get into heaven, but to make his life better. And then of course we have Valentino. While the most simple and logical definition of love is just that good feeling we have for a select few people in our lives, storytelling isn't about clinical definitions, and more about sharing a philosophy. And series creator Vivian Medrano has con on record saying that the themes of this relationship parallel a toxic relationship she had in her past as well, so I imagine the commentary she gives us through this relationship will be about her personal definition of what love is and where we draw the line. At the end of the day, whatever definition of love she chooses, whether you agree with its personal nuance or not, is the one that matters most to its characters, and will inform how their stories end. But I think it goes without saying that Valentino may feel the chemical rush that we think of as love when he sees Angel, but he certainly doesn't treat Angel in any way that we would call loving today. Modern ideas of love tend to focus on affection and care, but older ideas of love involve what we think of as tough love, being hard on someone or withholding affection in order to help them grow and face a very dark world, but Valentino is not an example of either of these. He hurts Angel and gets him addicted to drugs. He doesn't do this to help Angel grow, but to stop him from growing at all costs, to always be subservient to Valentino entirely for his enjoyment. He even sends Angel out when people are still being abducted by exterminators to try and make money. He has no good plans for Angel, he just wants to exploit him and own him until it stops being worthwhile for him. Some people may want to say that this means Valentino does not love Angel on any level at all, but having feelings for someone else does not make us a good person. It does not mean we use those feelings in a good way, and we've all been in relationships where we've done bad things before. Love is not much different from anger. We all feel it, and when we do, it's a matter of who we are as people that decides if something good or bad happens next. At least, that is my current take, but what do you guys think? And if you like this video, think about checking out our Patreon. For $1 a month, you get a weekly theory. For $3 a month, you get that, plus early access to videos just like this one. This one's been up on the Patreon for over a week already. And for $5, you get all that, plus up to three theories a week. So there is something for everyone there. But even if you can't afford it, check out our Patreon page for a freebie we put out, a theory about why Heaven is really doing their exterminations. I'll leave a link and a pinned comment down below, so go check it out. See you next time!